Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from 2 Kings 15 verses 10 through 12. They read as follows. Shalem, son of Jabesh, conspired against Zechariah. He attacked him in front of the people, assassinated him, and succeeded him as king. The other events of Zechariah's reign are written in the books of the annals of the kings of Israel. So the word of the Lord spoken to Jehu was fulfilled. Your descendants will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. So way back when, Jehu carries out the Lord's command to wipe out the house of Ahab. And oh, is he thorough. He kills everybody. I mean, everybody, anyone in any way, in any shape or form, even by accident, maybe not really, but anyone connected to the very wicked King Ahab and possibly his even more wicked or queen, Jezebel, he wipes out and thorough is the word. So God gives Jehu a promise because you have done this because you have carried out the word of the Lord and you have done to the house of Ahab all I had in mind to do because you have done this, your descendants will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. And this seems great, especially if you are Jehu, you were thinking, this is amazing. God is going to bless me and my son and his son and his son to all be kings of Israel. I'm going to have an incredible legacy in Israel. This is great. This is amazing. But what if you aren't Jehu? What if you are the said son, 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 meaning you are Zachariah of our verse today. You are the said fourth generation of Jehu to sit on the throne of Israel. What if you're him? This promise doesn't seem as much as a promise anymore, but instead it actually seems a bit like a warning. Scripture notes that Zachariah did evil in the eyes of the Lord as his predecessors had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam II, the son of Nebat, which he caused Israel to commit. And I don't know, I mean, if there was a decades old prophecy about your family that I'm sure honestly wasn't hidden. If there was a decades old prophecy about your family, you might wanna find out more about this prophecy or at least find out about this God who gave this prophecy to see if it's possible to change the tides of that prophecy. Promises from God are incredible. They are great, they are phenomenal. And sometimes just one word can literally change the whole trajectory of your life. But can I tell you that warnings from God are equally wonderful, can be equally as great because they sort of provide us a way to see whether we'll go this way or that, whether we will heed that warning, whether we will listen to what this warning is telling us that we might be able to go a different way, which still can bless our lives. And God gives us warnings in different ways. You may have an uneasiness or a lack of peace about a person or a job or a situation where you just don't have peace about that person, that situation. And that's sort of like God saying, mm -mm, don't go that way. You might have a nightmare or a scary dream about a situation or a person or an event. And that's God's way of telling you, stay away, stay clear away from that. God may speak through people. I remember one situation where multiple people were telling me sort of the same thing and they came from different walks of life about a decision I was going to make and I didn't listen and it cost me greatly. Perhaps if Zachariah had learned, had heeded this prophecy, had heeded the warning that he was the fourth in this generation that was to sit on the throne of Israel, he may have repented, have turned to the Lord, have sought a way to maybe turn the tide of that prophecy to repent, to serve the Lord. Hezekiah, king of Judah, did just that and he was granted 15 more years. If you get a warning, a red flag, a gut check that something is just not right, something is someone or something is telling you that this thing is just not right, heed that warning, heed that warning, go to God, pray about it, ask for his best, his will to be done. God is trying to protect you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for promises that you give us, but we also thank you for warnings, Lord, because they can be just as effective, Lord, and just as wonderful because they can protect us, Lord, and keep us going on the wrong paths, Lord. Help us, Lord, to heed warnings, God, to recognize them, God, to not ignore them, but to instead pray and seek your help and guidance, Lord, and go the other way. In Jesus' name.
Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I so appreciate you watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.